Greetings, YouTube viewers. Um, I just want to make another video of uh, books from my Amazing Spider-Man collection. Um, Amazing Spider-Man is uh, overall my favorite series to collect, especially anything within the first hundred issues. Um, so a couple of these are new, but a lot of these are just things I haven't showed in either one of my other videos. So I pulled some more out of the box that I didn't show already. Um, and this is one of them, and this is probably my favorite issue probably in my entire collection as far as like as of right now um it's amazing spider-man number three um first appearance of dr otto octavius and this is a pretty pretty darn good copy um not too much wrong with it if you can see at the bottom where the black is there's a little bit of color missing but not very much one of the biz uh, biggest defects is this chip missing out of the uh, red in the question mark, but besides that, it's really a nice shape. No uh, tears or really major creases. Maybe a little bit up there in that corner there, but the spine is in really good shape. That's the introduction of uh, Doc Ock. Next up is Amazing Spider-Man number 10. First appearance of the Enforcers and the Big Man. This is also in pretty good shape. It doesn't have any major defects, but it has a little bit of, tiny bit of staining. That, that's not a tear, that's like a crease. The stain there, but uh, the staples are in the front of the book. However, the book itself has pretty good centering for this issue because you see all of the L and learn usually a lot of times that's kind of cut off that way pretty nice copy of a uh, number 10 and next up is number 19 this is actually kind of new I got this about maybe two months ago um, I got it online it's uh it was graded a uh, VG online and I gotta tell you it's pretty Pretty nicely graded. I'm really happy with it. It probably grades out to at least a VG, maybe even VG plus, because it doesn't has a lot of eye appeal. It does have like several next long spine that are color breaking. Crease there. But all in all, pretty nice shape. Love that cover. Kind of reminds me of the uh, beginning of the old cartoon from the '60s, where he's swinging at you in the beginning when they're uh, showing the opening credits. Next up, I got, this is also new. I just got this like a week ago. This is, uh, I love this cover. Issue number 25, graded a 6-0. First appearance of uh, Professor Spenter Smythe and the Spider Slayer. <laughs> um, I, I also remember this episode from like the old cartoon where Jameson's chasing around in the... Uh, Spider Slayer, you can see his face. Like we can still see the collar of his shirt and his tie. And he's got Spidey wrapped up in these coils. It's an awesome issue. Really happy I got this one because I really like this cover a lot. There's the back cover. Yeah, I got it from Comic Link and a Comic Link auction. Love that cover. That's freaking sweet. And I'll skip way forward to issue 57. Kizar and Cebu. Maybe. 61. First Gwen Stacy on the cover. Sixty-two. I got this not that long ago, about a month ago. Um, this is a really nice copy. This is like very fine condition. The white's pretty white, and the pages are in excellent shape. Pages got white pages. Yeah, I like that one. Sixty-four vulture appearance. This was graded a seven. Oh, I cracked it out. Sixty-five. 
65. I always love this cover where Spidey's kind of reaching out at you. This has got like great gloss on this one. Pretty nice copy. It's actually like really great copy. There's only one thing. I know the center fold is detached from one of the staples. It's the only thing really wrong with this cover though. It's in excellent shape. Uh, 69 Kingpin appearance. Yeah, this one was graded a 7.5. Trying to crack that one out. Issue 70. This is when they were smack dad in the uh, tablet saga. Seventy-two. We got two copies of this. This this one here is actually in pretty bad shape. I think it might have a little bit of color touch in that bottom right hand corner. It didn't bleed through, but it looks weird to me. I wasn't really happy with it, so I got this copy. Not actually, I got this copy the same time I got that issue of sixty-two. Got this from the same seller in much better shape. Um, Seventy-four. Four. This was graded an 8.0. Um, somebody sent me this. I got this off of eBay, and somebody sent the slab in a uh, just an envelope, not even a box. So of course, it completely cracked the slab. Anytime you send any a slab just in an envelope and not a box, it's bound to get cracked somewhere along the way. So I just took it all the way out, which I didn't really mind doing anyway. I like to enjoy them. I like to buy uh, CGC comics online because you really get a good idea of what you're getting. But then I just crack them out and enjoy it. Put them in my LAR with the full back. It's good to go, you know. Um, Death Without Warning. Seventy-five. Number eighty. Chameleon appearance. Really like the green in this cover with the chameleon in the background. For me, the cover is pretty sweet. Next up, 81. First kangaroo appearance. For those of you who care about kangaroo. Cool. 's out to be Kingpin's son Richard Fisk wearing a mask. I think this might be the first appearance of Vanessa Fisk. I'm not, I'm not really sure. I think so. I'm missing number 84 but I got 85 so I need the middle issue in the uh, storyline there and this is where the reveal is that the schemer is the Kingpin's son. 87, classic cover here. Had to read this issue. This was also graded a 8.0 at one time. And issue 88, Doc Ock appearance. More importantly, Doc Ock's tentacles appearance. He mentally summons his arms to break him out of prison. That's pretty neat. And let's see. Get down in here. Got this one just recently on eBay. Uh, 96. It's uh, one of the drug issues. Green Goblin appearance. Not approved by the uh, comic code. It's uh, graded a 7.5. Uh, with white pages. Has a small date stamp on the back. No big deal. And lastly, got this one just recently as well. Uh, part two in the three part story of the uh, drugs drug issue. Green Goblin cover, obviously. Great is 7 -0. Um, That's it uh, for now. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Um, 
like watching your guys' videos as always. Um, thanks, until next time.